You're watching Fox 40 News at 10. Today, the Supreme Court blocked the Trump administration's effort to end the DACA program. That program protects hundreds of thousands of immigrants brought to the U.S. as children from deportation. Many local dreamers are celebrating today's decision. However, some are warning this is not a permanent solution and that the future of DACA is still in doubt. Fox 40's Doug Johnson has more. I haven't stopped smiling since I've seen the ruling. For Tomas Evangelista, today's Supreme Court decision is cause to celebrate. A huge relief for myself and for many of us who have been struggling um, our entire lives, but uh, the most difficult parts have been the last three years. Tomas was brought to the U.S. from Mexico by his mother when he was just two years old. Shortly afterward, she passed away and he was raised by his grandparents in Auburn. Just grown up just like any other kid. He's one of 3.6 million dreamers in the U.S. today who will benefit from the Supreme Court ruling, at least for now. As attorneys point out, the ruling could also be DACA's undoing. If they decide in their infinite wisdom that DACA needs to go, they have the roadmap for how to do it. Andres Mera is an immigration attorney. He says for now, anybody who has DACA can continue to renew it. But it also means that people that never applied will likely be able to apply. As the number enrolled in the program is expected to grow, Mayor says its future very much depends on the results of November's presidential election. A president can create a program like this and can change conditions on a program like this, but it has to follow the appropriate procedure. I think every election is important, but this one might be the most important in my lifetime. That's why Evangelista says he knows his fight to stay in the U.S is far from over. Tomorrow is a new day and we need to continue forward on this fight for our right to be here in our country. Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News.